Hello, I'm Miss Knight and I am going to read you a book called One Tiny Turtle. It is by Nicola Davies and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Okay, before they start the story, they tell you about sea turtles. It says, sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins and actually um, tur tortoises and terrapins are both types of turtle. The whole group is called turtle, but most people think of them as all different species. They are all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study. So scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerheads live in seas all over the world. Okay, here we go. One tiny turtle. Far, far out to sea. Land is only a memory, and empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. This is picture. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle, not much bigger than a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. Ooh. But the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimps. Turtles have shells that cover their backs and shells that cover their stomachs. The shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath so fast Blink and you'll miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. Fish breathe underwater, but turtles are reptiles and need to come up to the surface for air. They do this every four to five minutes. When they are active, when they are asleep, they can stay underwater for hours. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through hot calms. Steady, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave. But when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor. Her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and the loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food, in summer to cool seaweed jungles, where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. And in the winter, to turquoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or tracks for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. 
here's that picture. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water and the sound of the surf. It's amazing that they can do that. Male turtle, turtles, sorry, just off the nesting beaches, they mate with their females, then the females come ashore to lay eggs. Oh, look, isn't that a great picture? You can see her face. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle, and her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free of sand. Coming ashore is very risky for a sea turtle. They can easily overheat and die, so they only nest at night or in the cool weather. Then they get back to the sea as soon as possible. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach, scooping carefully with her hind flippers. She makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hundred squeak, squeegee ping pong balls. Afterwards, she covers them with the sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. A lot of animals would like to try to eat those eggs. Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. Females stay close to their nesting beach for several months. In that time, they usually make at least four nests, and sometimes as many as ten. And before the summer's over, they wriggle from their shells. Those are her babies. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand is cool, they can take three weeks longer. Get those babies. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. The horizon where the sea meets the sky tells baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water but street lights and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and make them go the wrong way. So there's a lot of dangers for those sea turtles. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day she'll remember the beach and come back, just like her mom. But now she dives under the waves and swims, swims and swims, out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory, waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. The end. Okay, so there's a lot of dangers for turtles. That's why Sea turtles are endangered. A lot of animals like to eat them, and even humans, when they find a turtle, will try to mess around with it and sometimes injure them. So be careful when you see turtles, okay? I hope you like this book as much as I do. Bye-bye.